Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another review. Today I'm going to review this um, Travel Straight brush. It's an electric beard brush. Uh, this is one from Effaloka. That's the name. And there is nothing that says that it's a beard brush. Um, it's used for straightening your hair, no matter where you have it. But um, on the side it said it was a beard brush and um, this was not the most not not the cheapest one but like second or third cheapest one here in sweden so this cost uh, a little bit over 50 euro and uh, there were one more expensive model where you could adjust the heat maybe some function some more function but you should try it out. I think this will work good. Uh, so 50 euro from, from Cool Stuff. And a little bit of background story, as I usually do. I do very little with my beard. I wash it two times a day with uh, face, face soap and um, like almost daily, maybe not daily, with uh, beard conditioner. Oh no, it's not even conditioner, it's only shampoo, I think. I used to have a conditioner. Yeah, I used to have a beard conditioner, but that is, they, they don't sell that anymore. So nowadays I only have beard shampoo. But the facial wash does the job. And I wash it two, maybe three times a day. Except from that, I do nothing. Uh, when I go out, do like this, pull it a bit. That's it. Uh, sometimes when I'm bored at the computer, at the, when I sit on the computer checking YouTube, I sit like this. But that's not for the look. That's just for for the feeling, like a tick or something. And sometimes, very rarely, when I maybe go to some kind of occasion, I put a balm, beard balm, and then I use this small brush. This one is good actually. Uh, I don't know why I don't use this more often. Uh, this does the job. And uh, and I got some more as well. But I don't think I'm going to use this actually. Because I know from experience that everything with a cable that is supposed to be used in the bedroom or a hallway. I don't use it. So if this would be battery charge, I would use it. That would be great. But... Uh, like this i don't think so so here we have let me see what we have a pouch for the brush since this is called a travel brush uh, the sizing is okay i um, i have tried one of these before i think my ex had one but she had a large one uh, for for the hair and i wasn't really interested of uh trying it from a beard i tried it from a beard but it wasn't a thing to have these kind of brushes for your beard back then and then i found a bunch of i, I googled googled uh, them yesterday i found a bunch of different sizes and variations and the most of them for beard was longer and smaller but i think that's just a design thing used to show that this is for beard and the round classical look is for the hair but this is bought as a beard brush beard straightener brush and then we have a scrubbing glove that is very small that is absolutely not for a man i don't know what this brush is for yeah this is not for a man so i can't say that this product is a beard brush even though they sell it like one but let's try it out uh, I haven't bothered to do anything with my beard for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I don't know. Autumn depression came early. And I used to haven't bothered. I used to haven't had the energy to do anything with my beard. I haven't even shaved the edges or trimmed it or anything. So this is my rough beard for, I don't know, a month maybe. Three weeks at least since I did something. 
uh, when I shave my head, I take the, the neck as well. And of course, by the ears, but that's it. Otherwise, I haven't done anything. I'm going to do that probably tomorrow. So this is as rough as it gets. And uh, I checked the videos and some videos uh, where they use these kind of products. Uh, they have the beard wet. And I think I'm going to at least dash it a bit with water. And some of them use products in the beard, like beard oil. I have tried beard oil a couple of times, but I don't like that shiny look. Uh, and also, I get that oil everywhere, on my glasses and everywhere. So uh, I'm not going to use this with, with beard oil. I'm just going to do it like this. And use, like when you fix your hair, I'm just going to moist my beard a little bit. So, uh, I don't know where I'm going to film this. Come along. I think that the cord could be a bit longer. It's two meters long, but I think it could be a bit longer. Uh, there were no instructions at all. Uh, nothing about the heating time or if you're going to burn it out the first time you use it. Uh, and as I said, I just, I just dashed a bit of water on my beard. Um, but no heat so far and actually the I don't know what you're gonna call it, the pins are too thick um, way too thick for for a beard for a beard you want small and many straws um, this is not good for the beard it doesn't even go in the bit, it just goes on the surface. Yeah, only on the surface. So this was not good at all. Now I feel the heat coming. But as I said, it doesn't, it doesn't at all go. Uh, through the beard just on top of it So this is not uh, For the beard Check this is really really thick uh, Yeah The other model that I tried uh, the bigger one uh, It was you could feel the air the hot air coming I Guess this one only heats up these in the middle and that's it. So I think that the model that I should have is the model that um, have sort of a uh, hair dryer in it that blows hot air. Because this only heats up the surface of the beard and that's it. Useless. Really, really bad. Yeah, so this was absolutely the wrong one for me. It heats up the surface of the beard, but that's it. And I checked the videos yesterday uh, about the other beard. Uh, brushes electric beard brushes where you could adjust the heat and on those you could adjust the heat between 170 degrees to 250 or something and people say that 200 to 220 was the right heat and this one does not get that hot and I don't think I'm supposed to be standing like this for 10 minutes for me, something like this should work like four strokes and that's it. So yeah, I'm going to buy another one, a more expensive one. This is not good at all. I could might as well use a used a normal brush. Actually, I'm going to show you what it looks like with a normal brush. So Normal brush, this is usually what I do, two times per side, and just pull it to 
even it out and instantly it looks better and with this one absolutely better absolutely better that brush were was really useless maybe it's good for the hair uh, but for the beard no thanks for watching disappointed once again yeah